Growing up in Montana, Tim Swaga was the kid who mowed lawns and had three jobs. He dreamt of being a rancher, not an MIT chemist. I was not born with a chemistry set in my hands. I went to, uh, to, went to college, and uh, after struggling a little bit in my first year of college, when I transferred to Montana State University, I uh, went into organic chemistry, and it took. It looks nice and uniform, you know. Being an organic chemist, let Swagger continue his love of building things. In his case, molecules. His innovative thinking is founded on broad practical knowledge, not just theoretical science. I often refer to it as knowing enough to be dangerous in certain areas. Danger is what Swagger's explosives detection sensor seeks to avoid. Drawing on his chemist intuition about how molecules might interact, Swagger began to design polymers that could detect the presence of explosives. The sensor in explosive detection is, is unique in that it can detect the vapors of explosives. So it, it is very different than the conventional systems and it gives a new capability to the soldiers to where they can do what was called standoff detection or to detect the explosives without having to be physically in contact with them. Swagger's polymers can detect explosive vapors at a distance of up to 80 feet, helping keep soldiers out of harm's way. To be able to do something for the soldiers that are over there, they deserve all of us to be pulling for them. And, and so the fact that I could do something was just, has really been delightful. The principle behind Swagger's sensors is fluorescence. And then you can see if I turn on the black light here that the polymers are fluorescent on the inside. We design polymers which bind to TNT and change their fluorescence properties and they have exquisite sensitivity because the materials self-amplify. It's equivalent to flipping one switch or breaking one light bulb and turning out 10,000 lights. Swagger's technology is now used in Iraq. Paired with a PackBot robot, the FIDO explosives detector that relies on Swagger's polymer has saved countless lives, rooting out hidden explosives. When I decided to go into science, one of my goals was to touch people. And so using chemistry, particularly materials, science side of chemistry, to try and make that connection with society has always been important. And, and you really need to uh, invent and build things in order to do that. As the head of MIT's chemistry department, Swagger doesn't get to do much hands-on science anymore. But he works with students to develop new polymers for a variety of sensing applications, from military to environmental to biomedical. Chemical sensing is becoming more and more important, not only for national security, but also for the environment and for medicine. Uh, the more data we have about these things is very useful to to make diagnosis or to find the origin of a pollutant, for example. They are now developing sensors for carbon nanotubes that Swagger believes could transform the nature of sensing technology. We find that we can coat these carbon nanotubes with new polymers that give them specific sensitivity to chemicals of environmental interest. Eventually we're going to put them on these, these higher uh, resolution devices that can be used to make sensors that can be used in environmental uh, remediation processes. Looks like a lot of different products here in this experiment. One of the fundamental tenets of my research lab is that I encourage what I call a healthy irreverence to me. It's very important to let students know that I'm not always right and at times they should try and show me to be wrong. And if they can show me to be wrong, that means they're thinking, that they're doing what they should be doing. If I'm doing all their thinking for them, I'm not being a good mentor. Mentoring his students is one part of his job that Swagger clearly enjoys. But above all, Tim Swagger thrives on the challenges of invention and building new things. Whether it's a cabin in the hills of Montana, built with his father and brother, or a new polymer that might one day help with early cancer detection, Swagger is inspired by the challenge of building better ways to understand the world. Sometimes you go up to the plate and you hit one out of the ballpark. Sometimes you have to strike out for three or four years. But if you uh, believe enough in it and it's an interesting enough idea, it can be worth the time it takes.